Good morning, gang. Today I'm going to show you how to change uh, these Moen Posi Temp 1222 stuck cartridges. Um, not hard to do, but you do want to be patient and take your time. Uh, the backstory on this house is it's a rental. Um, and I'm going to give you a little audio at the end of me and the tenant having a conversation. Uh, she's a problem tenant, is always a problem tenant, loves to tell me how to do a job or what I need to do. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Uh, but on this home, I had changed the water heater, has old galvanized pipes, and a lot of trash was, uh, was loosened, rust in the pipes and stuff, and it clogged up almost every faucet in the house. So this is the last one I'm dealing with. The uh, Danco is $10 cheaper than the Moen, so we went with the Danco. Uh, I think it was $35. Uh, there it is, package. Uh, the Danco comes with a little tube of grease, but I recommend getting an extra tube of silicone grease. Now, this little white cap is supposedly the tool you use to take it off. Notice those ears right there. I had to break those off of the old one to get it, and I think you do, to get uh, the cartridge out. So here we are. I, as you can see, I were done broke those ears off. Now I'm, I did get the metal puller. I'm not messing around with the plastic. This is the clip that holds the cartridge in. Some of them are flat metal. So that's, in fact, this is the first wire one I've ever seen. Now I'm going to use some little penetrating oil there. I'm going to use liberal amounts of it because I want it to get back in there and, um, help me every bit so here we go um let me put you back on the stand there and uh, get my puller ready now this puller has a bolt at the end that screws into the end of the the uh, shaft right there as you can see it uh, or the stem and just ignore the i don't know what kind of bug that is crawling down the wall to the left just ignore that <laughs> this home has lots of bugs so <laughs> but anyway there it is trying to get it up on the cartridge as far as i can before i screw uh the the small bolt at the end into the uh stem uh another thing i always do and you'll see here in a minute is i put something over the drain because if i drop something it will go in the drain and just drop my screwdriver and <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> as you can see there, I just put a rag over it. Uh, if this tub hadn't been chewed up already, I would put a uh, drop cloth over the tub to keep from marring the uh, finish. But as you got a quick glimpse, that wasn't necessary. Um, okay, I've got the bolt on the stem tighten up. Now I'm going to tighten the big nut up um, on the puller. And I'm going to be very easy because I see a lot of guys pull the stem out and I don't want to do that. Um, I'm just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I'm giving that penetrating oil time to um, work. Um, it's getting back in there on the rubber side. Now remember this has a bunch of crap in it as well. And you'll see that later. Uh, all the rust and crap that was uh, gunked up on here and um, the hot water we just wasn't no hot water uh, the hot water side was stopped up because that's where all the trash was uh, obviously coming from the water heater the hot water side is going to be stopped up and this happened at the kitchen sink we had to replace that faucet happened at the bathroom sink had to replace the cartridge on the hot side and uh, this one I got warm once but the tenant you know, um, I, I told her if it wasn't um, as warm as she wanted, let the landlord know and I'd be back. Well, she took out to mean that I would was going to come back. So it was about this is about three weeks later after we had that last conversation. And I thought everything's OK because she never called the landlord. So here I am still going back and forth. You can see it coming a little ways. Just be patient with it. Use the penetrating oil and uh yeah take a break <laughs> if i'd had some coffee there i probably could have uh 
got it out a little quicker. But uh, anyway, I eventually do get this out uh, without pulling the stem out. I got it out all in one piece, and you're fixing to see that here, I believe. And um, just patience is the key on this, or, or you're going to cause yourself a lot more work. So I finally get it off. I think the tenant's coming home now. And there's the, finally got it out. Look at all the rust on that. It's just, I mean, uh, that's why I hate galvanized pipes, especially in these older homes, because it doesn't take much to get in these uh, cartridges and stop them up. So um, this one was really packed. Now, after this, I closed the shower curtains, went outside, turned the water back on for about a second or so, let it blow all that crud out before I put the new cartridge in. If you don't do that, you're going to stop your new cartridge up again. You'll be doing this all over. So I also take a like take a rag and, and clean as far back in there as I can. You'll see all the crud. Basically, that rubber is just breaking down, and and um, this uh, rubber come out in several pieces. And another reason I had to blow it out, clean the lines out. So anyway, now the audio of the tenant is coming up. Uh, well, maybe it's a little lighter. But here I got the new one on. I put extra grease on it. Don't do like I, I'm fixing to do and push on the stem. Push on there, yeah, because you're going to have to pull it right back out and get it fixed. So anyway, I do that, get it in, and I think the tenant's coming up. So I'll let you listen to that piece of uh, conversation. Oh. That's the only way to come out. And now. That is cool with me. I was like, I was like, he come from God. I was like, man, I had it so for a long time. I was like, oh, man. All right. The last time I was here, I had a had it where it was warm on that side. And I told Miss Jane that. I said, you know, if it, there's more trash in the line and it gets up in there, it's going to stop it off. And I said, you'll just have to let me know. And yes, she said, right. She said, okay, I'll let you know. And so last yeah, night. I, said, I talked to you and I, you was like, you had to come back. Because I yeah. said, the shower, you said you got the bathroom and the sink working. And he was like, you had to come back and come to the thing. I was like, well, he forgot. Yeah. Man, that thing's tough again. I'm like, man, I can't go no longer. I said, man, this is And now you know why I charge what I charge to work on Section 8 homes. So uh, they hear what they want to hear. So anyway, here it is, final. Uh, all I have to do is just put the um, handle on. And I thought about adjusting the temp, and that's that white collar there. But I thought, you know what? You're going to be crappy with me. You get you know, warm, lukewarm water instead of hot. So anyway that's this and that's how it's done it's pretty easy take your time hey i appreciate y'all watching blue collar diy check out the blog check out the podcast and the newsletter uh, i think y'all gonna like it still working on it so